always together. We do everything together. Look what happens when we separate. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Why are you doing? Cooperation. When two or more beings come together to accomplish a task in harmony, some of humanity's greatest achievements have been achieved through cooperation. And a little bit of unpaid labor. But the achievements. Now what happens when you take cooperation and apply it to Half-Life? Well, you get Half-Life Decay. Gina, Colette, and... Giving him a leg massage. He didn't like it. On my fucking toe! <laughs> Half-Life Decay is the third and final expansion pack to the original game. Wait a minute, did Valve just count to three? World peace achieved. This is my final stop in my first time playthrough of the series, before moving on to Half-Life 2. A lot of people wanted me to skip Decay and move straight into the juicy sequel, but I made the decision to cover it anyways. And you know what? I'm glad I did. Yo, we could do the 5 HP run. <laughs> I'm just saying it's... No way. Nah, bro, he got scared. He saw it. <laughs> yo, he <laughs> is with this He said, hey, yo, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Developed by Gearbox Software, Again, it was their last chance to really experiment with what a Half-Life game could be. It's a very niche entry in the series because it was an exclusive campaign tied to the PlayStation 2 version? A PlayStation 2 version? Yeah, apparently Gaben was homies with the Sony CEO because there's actually a ton of exclusive content and modes in the PS2 version, like holy shit. Also, being able to locally play PvP against your friend in some classic split-screen combat is a nice touch. <laughs> Ah. The jumping is funny. Oh, oh my oh. god! Oh. Mid air! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Hey, oh, time I gotta reload. You can't screen peek if you can't see my screen. Okay. <laughs> there are some very clear differences with the PlayStation 2 version in terms of gameplay, and there's even another secret mission, but we'll talk about that later. Just because it's on a PS2 doesn't mean that it doesn't feel any less Half-Life, which is impressive. The headcrabs stay on their bullshit no matter what the platform. You so break- Jesus Christ! I was like, can you break glass? Half-Life Decay is a cooperative game where you play as Black Mesa local baddies, Gina and Colette. If you look like this, my DMs are open. They are the other two scientists with HEV suits that you see missing from the first Half-Life game, which is pretty sick. The same scientists who actually deliver that one sample to Gordon Freeman. That eventually causes the Resonance Cascade fucking up the entire Black Mesa facility. Fantastic job, guys. This is why you should use your sick days. Bro, Lance. We can avoid an entire franchise being created if we just don't give them the sample, okay? We can all go home alive. But everything is gonna be okay, because you're also the scientists who help in contacting the military so they can come and save you. Oh, yeah. It's called Half-Life Decay because you're actively decaying the fucking situation. Oh, like, he's damn. still alive. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Never mind. That's unfortunate. That's extremely unfortunate. Anyways, you do the usual blasting and work your way through the facility to escape, while also revisiting both new and old locations alike. Oh, hey, look! It's Holy shit, is that me? In the hazard course, Holy fuck, that's me! Basic jumping. You will attempt to get over Wait, this to... set of pipes I mean, wear her using skin. only your run and jump command. <laughs> <laughs> watch me, and then try it yourself. All right, I'm watching. No, watch me. Don't watch her. Watch me. All I'm right. better. I'm stronger. Oh yeah. <laughs> you do seem way better than her. Honestly, the expansion pack is merely another perspective of the same Black Mesa incident that we've seen three different times now. But as you've seen from the footage so far, the special thing about Decay is that it has... What better month than February for two bros to play Half-Life split screen six feet apart because they probably aren't gay? Half-Life Decay leans fully into the cooperative genre. How many kills you got, kid? None. I got no kills, but I got one body, and it's your mama. <laughs> That's crazy. 
as it's basically impossible to complete the game with only one person. Kinda. It's complicated. Technically, there is a way to play Decay on PC online through some mods like Sven Co-op, but you need a master's degree in computer networking to set it up. Basically, first, you gotta make sure you download this version of Half-Life, but not Half-Life, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now download the fan-made port. You're gonna wanna run the exe file where you have to go where your Half-Life directory is, and then you have to go to the I don't got time for this shit. I'm a busy man with man shit to do, like play video games. Look, I ain't no heretic. Using mods to modify the experience? No. I was gonna play Decay the way our supreme leader Gaben intended me to play it, goddammit. And that is via split screen. Your lipstick looks fucking horrible today, you know hey, that? You should keep staring at me for like a couple more seconds. Oh my god! So, I began pondering my orb, searching for some way to get the authentic Half-Life Decay experience. And then it came to me. Parsec. I played the original Half-Life PS2 version via completely illegal emulation. And I used Parsec to give my friend, Lance, the ability for him to use a controller at his PC that controlled Player 2 in the game. So it emulates that couch co-op feeling, even though he's not physically next to me. Which is great! Because if he was actually next to me, I'd be wringing his fucking neck for constantly controlling the menu. Is there- hold on, is there subtitles? Just in case. Bro, I, I swear to God, if you do not stop with the fucking menu. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Show us. <laughs> Go to fucking tear your dick off, dude. Anyone who has had siblings before knows exactly what I'm talking about. You know, when you're trying to do something, but that little shit next to you makes it impossible because they also have control and are button mashing or pausing the game? Please do not hit restart. I swear. Please. Okay, there's not. Alright. Mission shit. Okay, yeah, let's save. Let's save. Hold on. Nah, no, dude, if you don't un- You punk-ass bitch. You gonna save with me a dude just staring at my face? <laughs> You're gonna die, too. <laughs> There's a special type of rage that boils inside. <laughs> but honestly, he was the perfect co-op partner, because we actually just share the same brain cell. The door's closed again. We both to do the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something so magical about split screen gameplay, even over the internet. Being able to see what kind of dumbass shenanigans your buddy is doing at any point is just hilarious. And it also let the stream see both perspectives. Oh! 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 Dude! I, I could have died if I was just standing right here. <laughs> Which you can watch the full thing here, by the way. Let's finish the video first. Playing a Half-Life game in split-screen also allowed me to see what the player models look like for the first time ever. And they are kind of goofy. Yeah, what am I holding? Yo, dap me up, fam. Yo, dap, dap me up. Yo, fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 I didn't know you was chill like that, my, my brother. Like, you can tell that they weren't really meant to be seen by the player. He deserves this. Why? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, how do you do? How do you do, Vincent? <laughs> But how exactly does cooperative gameplay work in a series like Half-Life? I'm so glad you asked, because now we can go to the transition slide. Decay has your standard Half-Life weaponry and enemies that we've seen many times before. And at this point, I would have been burnt out on this gameplay if it weren't for two factors that massively mix things up. Co-op, like we discussed before, and also playing this with a controller. I aimed up a little bit. Oh, it's close. <laughs> Damn. No, nah, wait, 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 this is the one, this is the one, I can feel it, I can feel it, I can feel it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Trying to play Half-Life with a controller feels like trying to drive a car with a fucking Wii remote. Since the game was a PC game first, ported to consoles second, that also means it still has the very fast Quake-like movement, which make aiming and moving so insanely hard. Console B-Hop. It's so much harder. <laughs> Jumping animation looks so fucking stupid. The fish that I pull out of the water. <laughs> Most other FPS games on PS2 at the time had you move like this. The game actually has an aimbot feature by pressing the circle button. Call for help. Okay. I couldn't possibly make it much. Bro, my aimer's like like heading towards his crotch for some reason. It's like drawn to it. Oh, that's crazy. 
Oh, what's happening? Oh! Oh, 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 oh it's so hot! Oh, I, can't, I can't stop! I can't stop! I can't stop it! It just keeps going! <laughs> this feature was actually quite a common practice in console games at the time, until Halo launched one day later and completely revolutionized FPS console controls forever. Even after a while, I was able to free aim relatively okay, and it was kind of satisfying landing shots, can't even lie. Although I'ma keep it real with you, Chief, there's no way in hell I'd be able to beat this without lock-on. Especially with these flying scrotums. Why there's so many? Wait, are not turning anymore. Oh. I'm trying, dog. I'm trying. Ow, ow, ow. Bro, bro, the 30 HP run. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. <laughs> Stop it <laughs> right now. Simply playing Half-Life in this new format made the game immensely more enjoyable for me. And I feel like I just wouldn't have had the same experience if I did the modded version. Okay! Plus, it was also cool for the stream to see both perspectives since there's multiple moments in the game where you actually have to split up and do different things. Let's go! Yeah. That was Clean. Yo, the revolver though! Oh, this is, I got the big iron dude, let's fucking go. Just standing over here like a fucking broke child watching rich people eat good food. <laughs> oh, what a, what a sick magnum this is. Oh, man. I feel like I love magnums. <laughs> Use a magnum all day. Don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Half-Life Decay leans fully into cooperative gameplay. Oh, we're together Hello. again. Can I kill you? <laughs> we just have the same idea. <laughs> we did the same thing. We are horrible. Since it's technically impossible to beat with just one person, unless you're using both controllers yourself. There's multiple puzzles throughout the game that require you to work together to advance. And if you don't, well... Let me know when you're gonna jump and I'll hit it. There you go. You have probably thought to yourself at some point, if this is a co-op game, how does dying work? Half-Life games are usually single player, so if you die, you just kinda... And then you're back to it. Alright everybody, it's time for some Half-Life trivia. If you die in Half-Life Decay, what happens? Do you A. Respawn B. Need to be revived C. Spectate your partner or D, go back to the previous checkpoint. Aw, oh, that's too bad, you dumb idiot. The answer is actually E. Restart the entire level. I... You know, Did for you just hit him in the head? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> for, for some... No, no way. No! This game has no checkpoints. It doesn't matter how far into a level you are, if one of you dies, you both restart. Shit. Pay attention to your screen, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Why are the checkpoints so shit in this game? Dog, you lost so much health <laughs> so fast. People trapped inside Black Mesa. God, shut up! Bro, I'm gonna fuck you! This shit gave me Halo 2 Legendary Co-op PTSD. Now, if you're a Halo fan, you probably just shuddered at the thought of what I just said. The game also restarts if any of your friendly companions die from an enemy. I go half. Hey. What? Well. What? What? Or by you. Hey, yo, new mission, new me. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You don't shoot a man in his dick. Dr. Keller believes our only concern now should be for the. Shit, oh. that sounds my bad. <laughs> What do you mean that's your bad? Like, how do you accidentally shoot him? <laughs> okay, for real this time. Despite <laughs> Luckily, the emulator I was using had its own save feature, so I mapped the F6 key to save the game to really give it that authentic Half-Life save scumming experience. And trust me, you need it. Oh! Get back, you fat ass! <laughs> I had it, dude. <laughs> There's no difficulty setting in Half-Life Decay, which is kind of odd. So far, I've completed every Half-Life game on hard mode because apparently I just 
like the mental torture of being heart stuck with low HP. Which, by the way, if you have seen any of my other Half-Life videos, you would know I have a curse where I seemingly cannot finish a game with more than 5 HP. I'm just destined to beat these games barely alive. And not only is this game no exception to the curse, but the curse also spread to Lance. Dog. <laughs> Our fucking hell. You now you know the Half-Life experience, Lance. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Dude, no way! Aki, what the fuck? I... I... I have no words. God really be giving me his toughest battles. Speaking of low HP, you also have to share resources. Thanks. But that's okay, this is a cooperative game, so obviously you would have to tactically split your resources to ensure you both survive until the very end. No way! Quit taking the health! <laughs> 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 Stop it over here! I'm gonna find the next health pack quick. And you took the ammo, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and you're ready! <laughs> Dog. All of these gameplay features really made Decay stand out to me from the other Half Life experiences so far. And I had an absolute blast playing through it with Lance. Oh, and that's definitely the secret room for sure. If you could <laughs> get some hops. You know what? You do it. Bitch boy. Just, just watch, just watch. Okay, can you boost me up, please? <laughs> can, I some, can I have some uppies? <laughs> while the game can sometimes feel like you're having a stroke while trying to control it, it still got the job done. Now, one of my favorite things that a game can do is when they let you play as the enemy faction, and even more so when that enemy faction is not human. Playing as an elite in Halo, the Locust Horde in Gears of War, or the Alien in the Aliens vs. Predator game. Being able to play as something that isn't just a human shooting a gun in a game that is mostly humans shooting guns is so fucking cool, man. Half-Life Decay experiments with this exact thing with a super secret level that you can only unlock by doing secret button combos on, get this, both controllers. You literally have to alternate the input commands from player 1 and player 2 to unlock the level? What kind of goddamn Nicolas Cage national treasure shit is this? This level has more security than Counter-Strike 2 anti-cheat. So, you have Zen attacks. Yo, why does, uh, Gene and Colette look kinda... Kinda, kinda... Seem a little off. They look hotter, I think, actually. Hi. How you doing? Doing a little weird. Yo, let's play patty cake real quick. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake. Wait, can we, like, interlink our stomach arms? Like, fucking Avatar? How about the blow? A level where you get to play as a Vortigaunt and Palpatine some motherfuckers into flesh chunks. <laughs> <gasps> Holy shit. It's so cool that they allowed you to play as some of the aliens in a Half-Life level and then just never ever touched back on this idea again. Really? Bro, could you imagine an entire campaign dedicated to playing from the alien's point of view? Like the game starts with you getting teleported in with the Resonance Cascade, and then you have to just start blasting with your slimy Vortigon sausage fingers? Or even a PvP mode where you can play as these guys versus human enemy players. Bro, so much potential, man. Please, Valve. If you don't make Half-Life 3, at least follow in Gearbox's footsteps and make some cool spin-off stuff like this. And... With that said, this brings us to the end of the Half-Life expansion packs, and now it's actually time to finally move on to Half-Life 2. I am very glad I did not skip this expansion pack, because it let me experience Half-Life in a brand new way that I probably would have never ever tried otherwise. It also allowed Lance and I's friendship to grow stronger. Or weaker, depending on how you look at it. There's no fucking- are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I was distracted. <laughs> Wait, there's still health. There's still some dude. Come on. <laughs> At this point, I am 100% a full-on Half-Life fanboy, and I've already ordered my Gordon Freeman body pillow and life-sized Gabe Newell cutout, and yet I crave more. This was a nice little slice of how much potential Half-Life has as a series, to try out things like co-op, different playable characters, and more. I hope you enjoyed the video, and for making it until the very end, you get a rare Bubba Balance collector card. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting these in the card format. Maybe you can make them fight or something, I don't know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.